Happy Wednesday. So I wasn't gonna get up and go run strides this morning because I wanted to give myself um, more rest. Um, but I did anyway, and it was, uh, you know, besides the fact that my heart rate monitor started messing up and I had to just, you know, quickly go through a few intervals until that whole thing got um, figured out. It has problems in the rain. It's raining like crap today. But um, once I got warmed up, I felt fine. Um, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna pay the price tomorrow. I do have to lift on back today, so I'm gonna be quite depleted. I'm probably gonna, you know, I'm, I'm deciding whether I'm gonna have more carbs. I had a, I had quite a bit of carbs yesterday. I was at the top end of my uh, intake, but um, I came out of yesterday and walked in today at the same weight, so that's good. You know, if you take a rest day and you wake up the very next day at the same exact weight that you woke up at the morning of your rest day, you did great because you haven't expended any energy, at least, you know, from training. Um, you've rested all day, ate all day, and you still woke up at exactly the right, the same weight, which means that you uh, burned through all the calories that you took in during that rest day, which is good. You know, uh, you could consider it maintenance or you could consider it a gain. I consider those, those uh, a gain. So, uh, I'm going into today, back workout, gonna knock that out, and then tomorrow I'm gonna run again, strides. It's probably gonna be difficult, but once I get warmed up, I'm usually fine. And then tomorrow's legs, obviously, and uh, punish the legs and then go into Friday, rest day, and relax with my partner, and then go into Saturday, um, chest, which is my only chest day, because I'm not really worried about upper body that much. You know, I do um, legs, I touch my legs three days a week, on my chest day as well, do three leg movements, and then uh, I just touch the uh, chest and the back one day a week. Um, I do lower back a lot, obviously, um, because of uh, you know the deadlifts and all that other stuff that I'm really trying to progress in, and the squats and all that other stuff. So, okay, so check this out. What I wanted to talk about today was um, endomorphs, and this is what you know. This is the direction that I'm going. Um, I got this stuff from Greg O'Gallagher at Kino Body. G good stuff. Um, he's not, you know, focusing on, you know, endomorphs, but he has some very good ideas and, you know, the guys, the guys, the guys top notch, he's, he's great. So progressively overloading the weight that you're working with constantly. This is the route that I am going to track my progress because tracking the weight I don't want to track the weight. You know, the weight's fine, and I, and I take it every day. You know, I do my weight every day. And as long as the weight's coming down, I'm fine. But the, the thing that I want to pay more attention to, and I stress that you should pay more attention to, is the weight that's on the bar. And I, I put up all the workouts so you see exactly what I'm doing. Was it kind of all over the place before? Yes. And it will change once I make some additions as far as equipment and things like that are concerned. I'm going to try as, as much as I can to to not change it much but what I've been doing over the last six months is training and finding what um, is most difficult for my body with you know based on the equipment that I have to work with and then I settled into these um, workouts um, and then all I'm gonna do from here on out is track either the weight on the bar progressive overload or progressively overloading the volume that I'm doing as far as repetitions are concerned. You know, on some of the, especially on some of the abdominal movements that I can't necessarily wait right now. Once I have better equipment, I'll be able to do cable curls and different things like that. And you know, uh, um, I could do my back extensions uh, through, you know, holding cables and lifting up the cables or weighting different things like that, you know, and, and, and so that I'll be able to benefit from, have, from having that equipment. So those little things like abdominal movements may change, but the core, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, the core, um, um, combination movements or multiple muscle movements like the chest press, incline press, um, uh, uh, deadlift, squats, all that stuff, that stuff will be the key lifts that I will track. And all I'm looking for is my relative strength to continue going up. That's what I want, relative strength. So like today, you know, I'm doing my pull-ups, my weighted pull-ups. Six months from now, I should be lighter, but I should be doing 
the same amount of weight on the, 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 the belt and my vest. You know, I should be doing, well, I should be progressing at that weight. So yes, I'm, yes, I'm losing weight. So that's taking weight off of the belt per se. It's actually taking weight off of my body weight. But at the same time, my relative strength is going up because I'm adding more weight to the weight that I'm actually pulling up as far as the additional weight that I'm adding to the belt, well, only the belt and I'm wearing the vest. So that's the way I'm working it. You know, I, I, you know I'm trying to be as strong as I can at the lightest weight possible. That that's what my, that's what my goal is. Strong, crazy strong, but lighter. Ridiculous strength, the strength of a 250 pounds man uh, at under 200 pounds. You know? And also what I what I'll add to is that that's how you track your physique goals. The more muscle fiber that you have to recruit, the more development that you're going to have. So the stronger that you get, there's no way, especially if you're leaning down, that your body's not gonna look better because of muscle recruitment. The more, mus the more weight on the bar, the more muscle recruitment. The more repetitions through hypertrophy, the more, the more muscle recruitment. You know, it's just you have to find the right rep range and the right weight, that's on you. You know, I share my workouts. You can follow along with exactly what I'm doing if you have half of a brain, it's easy. Do you have to check online and get ideas? If you wanna eat, fax me or text me or whatever the heck, or you know, comment on there or whatever, you know, if you're my friend, you can text me. If you're my friend, you can email me. Um, uh, if you're just on the outside looking in, you can email me or you could comment or whatever, and or shoot me an email. I'll explain the stuff to you. I have no problem with that. I'm here to help people, but you know, you could follow my workouts and it's crazy because I keep telling my partner this, no one's saying anything about the workouts right now and no one's giving me kudos and that's not why I'm here. I do the videos just because. But what's interesting is this, I'm I'm essentially fat right now, which is, you know, fine. I'm, I'm fine with that because you have to gain weight and you have to, you know, you have to bulk up to be able to lean down and get more, you know, muscle on my body. I wasn't happy with the muscle volume, especially in my upper body that I had before. So you have to gain weight in order to, you know, have more muscle development. That's, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I put on 20 pounds. That's, you know, what needed to be done. But what's interesting is this. I will lean down. And then all of a sudden, everyone will say, well, what are you doing? When all along, I've been sharing exactly what I do, taking videos and sharing exactly what I do every day. The information's right there. All you have to do is freaking listen to these videos and watch the workouts. And that tells you exactly what I'm doing. There's no magic, you know, secret sauce, you know, special pills. There's nothing going on here. All that's going on here is hard work. Okay, so I'm doing progressive overload. I'm microloading that bar. If I can't add on a um, two two pounds, or if I can't add on two and a half pounds, then or uh, you know then you know I'm just you know going to stick with the same weight but every week you know every workout actually I'm trying to add 2.5 pounds to that bar and that's the reason why I started as low as I did because I wanted to work my way up over time and progressively get stronger I'm I'm cool with that I'm not a young man anymore I'm getting older you know and so if you know 100 pounds a year on those key lifts 100 plus pounds a year stronger six reps I'm good with that. I'm not. I don't have to kill myself to get super strong. You know. I, I'm. Uh, you know. Work smarter, not harder. You know. I'm. I'm very happy with the development that I've. You know. Seen so far. I'm very happy with the leg strength that I've been able to uh, um, uh, gain uh, through hard work over the last several months. I'm good with that. So we'll just keep moving forward. You know. Uh, progressing um, with the uh, weight you know, uh, every week and, you know, uh, like I said, you know, in this content, focus on progressively overloading that bar, focus on getting the weight up on that bar over time. You know, weight is, it's important, you know, and your diet should be tight and everything like that. 
But if you progressively overload that bar and you're watching your carbohydrate intake, you should be good over time. Happy Wednesday.